Hey guys. Um, so I realized after I did this first video for you that I should have probably gone through the notes of the bass clef. So I wanted to do that with you right now. So I'm going to go back to exercises and go to note identification. This time I'm going to click the bass clef. So I'll come over here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reset my score. And then I'm going to go to tools. And this time, instead of using the treble clef, let's go bass clef. Everything else can stay the same. Oh, I guess I didn't click off that accidental thing. Let me move my face again. Ah. Oh, I see. Here's what happened is I didn't do the sharps and flats. I should have those at natural. So let's keep those at natural for right now. And now we're ready. Okay, so let's just talk about this really quick um, as to what the bass clef notes are. For some of you, this is going to be interesting anyway. So they are totally different than the treble clef, except that we still use the musical alphabet A to G and then start over again at A. But our starting point is different because we're in a different clef and they're different notes. So let's start with the lines. I always use this little phrase to remember, good burritos don't fall apart. So the line notes in the bass clef are G, B, D, F, A. Now the space notes, I use this phrase, all cows eat grass. So the space notes in the bass clef are A, G, E, sorry, I said that wrong, A, C, E, G. There you go. So um, if I take a look at this, it is a space note because it's between the two lines. And I know that my first space note, my little phrase is all cows eat grass. So that's going to be an A. And then if I go to this one, this one is a line note. So let's use my good burritos don't fall apart. That is an A, just like that. So hopefully that clears it up if you weren't sure um, about your bass clef notes. Hopefully you... Um, have some kind of an idea, but this is just such a great way to get you better at doing it. So have fun. And like I said, 30 problems in five minutes or less with a 100% score gets you a ticket in the drawing for an Amazon gift card. All right. See you later.